So today's project is getting this microwave installed in the hole where we took the other one out that was broken. So here's my dilemma. This is the top of the oven. And this opening is a quarter inch too small. I need to cut this off, the length of this. And so I bought a flush cut salt and began doing that before I realized that this flooring here was really only setting on the back of this little ridge. And I could take that out and then probably come in here and use my jigsaw. So I have to build me a little jig right now to go in this spot to hold it up so I can cut that level. So the first thing I tried was to build this little guide for my jigsaw. So I could turn it sideways, have the blade going this way, and then cut across this way. But I had the issue where this was starting to dip. And when that happened, I didn't think that this thing was migrating enough. I couldn't hold it straight enough to get that. So I canned that idea and decided I'd get the jigsaw and saw just up and down all the way across and use my handy chisel and hammer to basically gouge out the areas, sand it down, and to get it where it's appropriate. So now we have to fix the trim kit. The outside trim that comes with the microwave that we had to dispose of has certain measurements. So for the new one, the side pieces aren't tall enough, so we need to be a little bit taller this way. And this side needs to be trimmed out some. That could be fixed easily by just shaving this part down. So these has rivets on the back instead of screws. So we'll have to see how we can take those apart. So let's get going. So now let's drill out a, a rivet and let's see how this works. Ah. That's real easy. Okay, so we don't even have to make the holes bigger. Those rivets pop pretty easy. All right, this one will come right out. Okay, so that's the trim piece. I'm ready. Go. So what we have here is a frame that goes on the outside with the bottom part will have the grill plate across it. So what we have, we went over to friends to have our frame corners cut. We saw that. This one here, for some various reason, is slanted a touch more to the inside. So the the bottom part is going to be narrower than the top part so here's my test of whether this is square or not so i have my t across the top of my frame down here at the bottom it's nice and flush with the ruler but as you go up here you see a gap starts to occur and there is just about an eighth of an inch gap right in here so now i'm installing eagle z clips on my frame so this is actually the top so it'll clip this little piece will clip under here so now we're going to install one over here so let's show you how we do that so i'm measuring in half inch so this piece will go down and it'll fit over the top of a piece that'll be mounted to the wall and it'll go like that. Wave. I have screwed in this uh, bottom trim plate here. And I'm using these Z clips right here. And so what I've done is tape them on 
to do a dry fit to see how they do. Okay, now we're going to try a dry fit for our Z clips to see how they fit for our trim piece. So I've got these screwed on, one on each side and one on the top. piece looks a little low so we'll raise it up some. Okay, good to go. Well, now we're screw them in. All right, let's try it for fit. Okay, nice and snug. Doesn't vibrate much. Sits nice. All right, so now all we have to do is to cut the little tr trim pieces that fit in here, and this will be good to go. So now I have one more piece of trim to cut for the left side of the microwave. So the trick is I've measured this, and it needs to be two and three eighths up here, but two and one eighth down here. So the first cut I'm gonna make is the two and three eighths all the way, rip it down, and then we'll try to figure out this second cut. When you're sawing, always roll up your long sleeves or don't wear them at all. Prevents anything from getting caught in your saw. Since I know that the top is needs to be the two and three eighths, but a little bit narrow down here at this end, what I'm going to attempt to do is cut an eighth inch off one side, and then I'm going to attempt to have the bottom fit, and then I will be able to lean out the top just a smidge, an eighth of an inch, be able to clear the hinge side of the microwave. Okay, now it still is a little tight on the hinge side of the microwave door, so now let's make one more eighth of an inch cut. In case you're wondering, this blue tape is to prevent tear out. Even though the saw is good enough because they're brand new, I'm not expecting some, but I don't want to screw up a piece with a little tear out if I can prevent it. This door swings open. We finally decided I'd come down here and see exactly where. and now you can see back here that's about one and three quarters is the uh, is where that corner comes in remember plus a quarter for our recess into our molding okay one more cut i'm gonna cut it one and 15 sixteenths to be able to get it to fit inside the swing of the hinge of the microwave. Okay, so let's try a dry fit. Well, 
line it up with my mark on there. Microwave open. There we go. Now it swings, unencumbered. So here's our frame on our microwave, and we'll have to glue the left paneling in, color the edge of it, and remove the blue tape, and we'll be good to go.